Unfortunately, a lot of us do not. A lot of us do not pay heed to this fact of the favail and the benefit from Salah. Do you know a lot of us come for Juma Salah? Uh, a lot of people, for example, a lot of people, they pray Salah, they go to Juma because they think that will save them from hell. You don't pray Juma with the purpose to be saved from hell. We don't pray Salah with the intention to be saved from Jahannam, from hell. We pray Salah for the pleasure of Allah. What do we do? We pray our five times Salah. We come for Juma for the pleasure of Allah because Allah commanded prayer. Prayer was not designed for you and I to say, oh, that's how I go to, I'm, I'm going to go to Juma today. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. No, 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 no. Not going to hell happens to be one of the bonus in praying Salah. When you pray your five times Salah, when we come for Juma, when we pray Salah that Allah has designed five times a day to provide our sustenance, to give us all the blessings, the barakat, one of the perks and the bonus is that we are saved from Jahannam. But the purpose should not be praying Salah so we don't go to hell. Many a times, we miss that point. A lot of people give zakat, and I really don't want to get into zakat because then we'll go to a different topic. A lot of people give zakat because they're scared of the punishment of not giving zakat. But that's not even the purpose of giving zakat. That's the consequences for not giving zakat. The consequences for not giving zakat happens to be such and such punishment. But what is the meaning of zakat? Zakat means purification. So the purpose of giving zakat should be for the pleasure of Allah, of which Allah purifies our wealth. Allah protects your wealth. Allah protects you from different things. That's why zakat really means purification. Purifies the wealth, protects the wealth and you and everything. It shouldn't be, well, you know what? I'm giving this so I don't go to hell. You know why a lot of people only give the basic or even less than what they're supposed to give? Because they are just trying to scrape through hell. Let me just give my two and a half percent so I don't go to hell. <laughs> oh, we're going to give us a card. We don't want to go to hell. No, if we give for the pleasure of Allah and for the purification of our wealth, and for Allah's protection over us and our possessions and everything we have, then we may give more. The mere fact that we calculate the least, it's all about an IRS kind of thing. Do you see people paying IRS more than they're supposed to pay? Do people do that? You just pay what the accountant says to pay, so you don't go to jail. Fine? So much care by you pay your IRS so you don't go to jail. And then we do the same th thing with the zakat. We just give zakat so we don't go to hell. But it shouldn't be for that purpose. It shouldn't be. So back to the salah. The salah should be for the love of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. And by doing that, Allah saves us from problems and trouble and difficulties. And it's a solution. It's a solution to our problems. Hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah. And you hear this verse all the time. But do we contemplate and ponder over it? We hear this verse and similar verses all the time. In which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, istainu bis sabri wa salah. What is Allah saying here? You know what Allah is saying here? Allah is saying, seek help in Allah. Seek Allah's help. You want success? You have a problem? 
We have difficulties. Istainu bi sabri wa salah. In steadfastness, be steadfast. Yeah. Consistent, constant, firm. And the salah. So be firm, whether with salah and salah. And that is what we need to be consistent in. Otherwise, we have a tendency of not turning to Allah for what we want. And then what happens? What happens, my brothers and sisters? We turn to people. Why do you think Islam forbids begging? That you don't beg people. You don't beg human beings. We don't beg kings and queens and, and politicians and presidents. You know, kings and queens are now, politicians are like your kings and queens of your cities and towns nowadays. They're your masters and your mayors and your commissioners. You see, 